If you're an Amazon seller who's not advertising your products because of some common misconceptions, you might be missing out on serious growth opportunities. In this video, I'm debunking four myths that could be holding you back from reaching your sales goals. Before I challenge these four myths, let me quickly tell you who I am and what we do for sellers at Evolve Media Agency. All right, so my name is Ian Smith with Evolve Media and we help sellers get product photos and videos created for their product detail pages and storefronts. We find the models, rent locations, shoot the content, and then edit and upload everything to your Amazon account. Our content is guaranteed to increase your conversion rate and boost the performance of your ad spend. You can get free access to our Amazon listing checklist, organic ranking ebook, and get a free listing audit over a Zoom call by going to emaamz.com. All right, now to be totally transparent, I gotta let you know that Amazon ads did spawn Sponsor this video, so I'm super excited to be working with them to make this. Now let's dive into those myths around Amazon ads that could seriously be limiting your brand's growth. First up, let's talk about bid costs when it comes to running Amazon ads. Myth number one, bid costs are too high. Yeah, bid costs can be pretty pricey during peak shopping seasons like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, or for super popular keywords, but if your product is one of a kind or in a niche category, you'll probably benefit from lower bid costs and CPCs, or cost per clicks, for your campaign. Campaigns. You can split test different keywords by checking your campaign reports to see which ones are helping you lower your bid cost for your product category. Next, let's talk about targeting. Myth number two, auto-targeting does not work that well and is too pricey. If you're not sure what targeting type to use, starting with auto-targeting and keeping an eye on your performance is actually a very solid plan. But as you start to figure out what works best for your campaigns, using two or more targeting types can actually boost your impressions and reach. Think about where you want your products to show up and use the targeting type that makes the most sense for your product. You've got options like auto-targeting, close match, loose match, substitutes, and complements, or keyword targeting. That's where you choose broad match, phrase match, exact match, and negative keywords. And then there's product attribute targeting, which involves targeting by category and ASINs. Now, let's talk about seller expectations when running Amazon ads. Myth number three, if you don't see results tomorrow, you should stop advertising. This is a super common misconception about advertising, especially when it comes to digital advertising. Like I tell all of our clients, it can take weeks to see positive results from your ads, unfortunately. Campaign performance depends on a bunch of factors and works differently for various product types and how you set up your campaigns. It's important to be patient and use the first week to keep an eye on your campaign performance. You need that data to optimize. That optimization, along with consistency, is what drives growth. You can find more more sponsored product tips and best practices by watching my recent videos. For the last myth, we're talking about budgets. Myth number four, I don't want to run ads on my own and I don't have enough money to hire an agency. Putting a little money into advertising can go a long way, especially if you're planning to grow your business over time. Did you know that Amazon has a directory of tool providers and partners that you can work with? And get this, worldwide sellers saw a 22% increase in attributed sales just six months after working with an Amazon on ads partner. That's a legit boost in sales. For example, if you're selling consumable items that customers are likely to order again, you have a huge opportunity to build a loyal customer base and generate consistent sales. By investing in advertising, you can get your brand in front of more potential customers and drive those initial sales. And because these products are consumable, you'll likely see a lower cost to acquire each customer compared to a one-time purchase product. Over time, this can lead to a ton of repeat sales and revenue for your business. Don't let these common myths hold you back from scaling your Amazon business through advertising. With the right strategies, a good mindset, and streamlined processes, you can unlock the full potential of your products and start seeing serious results from your Amazon ads campaigns. Well, I hope this video was helpful, and don't forget, at EMA, we help sellers completely revamp their product detail pages for higher profits. You can view our pricing, portfolio, and get a free Amazon listing audit over a Zoom call when you visit emaamz.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.